Hi, in this video, I will be showing you problem number 45 of chapter 6, section 3 from the practice exam. Use cylindrical shells to find the volume V of the solid, a sphere of radius R. So it says in the problem, the volume of the solid must be determined only by cylindrical shells method. Keep in mind, this problem can be done by any method. This can be done geometrically, this can be done um, in different ways. You can also do this problem by disc method, but in this problem we are going to show this by cylindrical shells method. So first we have to find out um, an equation of a sphere of radius r, or we have to find out a curve, the rotation of which will give us an equation of a, which will give us a shape of a sphere. So let's consider a circle whose center is at the origin and radius is r. So it's a circle with center at the origin and radius r. So that is x square plus y square equal to r square. Suppose we consider the quadrant of a circle. So the radius is r. So this is going to be up to r. So now we are going to only consider the quadrant one fourth of the circle um, here and then if we rotate this about the y axis we are going to get um, the volume of half the sphere hemisphere and then if we twice that volume we are going to get the volume of the full sphere. So we are going to take only this portion of the graph and then we rotate it about the y axis. Uh, for that we are going to use the cylindrical shell method. Of course this will give only um, volume of, of hemisphere. We are going to double that. So uh, the graph when you rotate it about the y axis it's going to look like this. This is y axis and this is the x axis. Now you are going to place a cylinder right here at a distance x from the axis of rotation which is the y axis. So this is our axis of rotation. Then we are going to place a cylinder like that. So volume of the sphere is twice the volume of the hemisphere. So in the cylindrical shells method, uh, we are going to find out the circumference and the height and the thickness. So it is going to be 2 times integral. We are only considering um, this piece and we are rotating it about the y axis. So it is integral 0 through r. The circumference which is 2 pi x and the height which is the height of this uh, curve. So for that we have to determine what y is. So x square plus y square equal to r square. So y square equal to r square minus x square and y equal to plus or minus square root of r square minus x square. Now we are going to consider only the positive part which is the upper semicircle. So that will be the height. So this height here is going to be y equal to square root of r square minus x square. So it is square root of r square minus x square. And then the thickness that will be delta x because along the along the y along the x axis the thickness is going to be delta x but in the integral it becomes dx. So this is the part we may have to integrate. So it is 2 times 2 pi which is a constant that can be taken out. Then integral 0 to r x times square root of r square minus x square dx. So this integration can be done by uh, substitution method. So we can take r square minus x square equal to u or negative 2x dx. Keep in mind r is a constant. So integrating r square will be 0. So negative 2x dx in derivative of x square that will be negative 
2x dx equal to du. And then also it's better we uh, change the limits. So change the limit, changing the limit it's only optional. So e equal to r square minus x square. Either you can change the variable to the new variable and apply the new limits or you can keep the original variable x and then uh, finally get back to the original variable on the integration and then substitute the original limits. So it will be x equal to 0 then if you substitute that u will be equal to r square then x equal to r then u will be equal to r square minus r square that will be a 0. So the new limits are r square and 0. That is 4 pi integral r square to 0. Then we have square root of r square minus x square that is square root of u. Then we have to substitute for x dx. The x dx is du over 2 with the negative sign. So du over negative 2. That is the value for x times dx. So now we can integrate. Um, then in order because we have a negative sign here, so it is it can be written as negative 4 pi over 2 integral r square to 0 square root of u du. So that will be negative 2 pi. Uh, integral r square to 0 square root of u du but negative you can actually flip um, the lower limit and the upper limit you can switch them and write this as 2 pi 0 to r square so we have integral a to b fx dx is a negative of integral b to a fx dx we have that property. So if you switch the limit, you can introduce a negative sign. We already have a negative sign. If you switch, you'll have to change the sign. So negative will become positive. Square root of u du, which is 2 pi u to the power 1 half. When you differentiate, when you integrate, it becomes u to the 3 by 2 over 3 by 2 between the limit 0 and r square. So it is equal to 4 pi over 3, 4 pi over 3, then r square to the power 3 by 2, that will be 4 pi over 3 r cube. So 4 by 3 pi r cube is the volume of the sphere, so you may want to say that as cubic units. Hope this video helps.